one back. I've known Phil for quite a few years, but there's a few people here that know him for a lot longer. And there's one gentleman I'd like to ask to come and say a few words is Mr. John Daunt, sitting just here, please, to say a few words. I'm John Daunt and Melvin and I have been neighbours for many years out of Gabatta to Bill and Enid. And uh, we started a family each about the same time and our kids started at Gabatta School about the same time, so we had a great association. But I'll start at the beginning. When I first met Phil, it was in Ireland in 1954, when he and his mother came to stay with us in Adair County Limerick. Phil was 14 and a half, I think, and uh, I was 16 and a half. My parents had made all the arrangements for me to, to migrate to Australia. And I had a job on a farm to come to, not very far from the Potter Farm at Gabatta. It was great to meet up with Australians and find out about the area and the climate I was coming out to. While staying with us in Adair, my father took us on a trip around the south of Ireland for a few days, visiting Killarney, Cork, Blarney Castle, to show the visitors a bit of our country. Of course, Phil and I climbed Blarney Castle, and Phil kissed the Blarney Stone. <laughs> we know, we know. <laughs> As some of you already know, when you kiss the Blarney Stone, you are blessed with the gift of the gab. <laughs> Enough said. Some months later, when I arrived at Gabatta to start work, it was great to meet up with Phil again. He decided not to continue with school anymore and was now working on the family farm, Al Shuringa, with his brother John. Some Saturdays I would cycle down to Potter's about five miles and go into Lake Jellico with Mrs. Potter and Phil. Mrs. Potter would shop around for the usual stores and meet up with her CWA friends while Phil and I would check out the local talent. <laughs> that evening, we'd have a meal at the local cafe, then go to the pictures, and again, we'd check out the local talent. <laughs> I don't think we would have known what to do if we'd have caught one. <laughs> I heard Phil telling somebody earlier this afternoon that we used to chase kangaroos and girls and we had much more success with the kangaroos. <laughs> After the pictures, Mrs. Potter would pick us up and drive home, hoping we wouldn't get bogged in a couple of bad bog holes on the way. Next day, we'd head off to the local tennis club for team to play in the tennis comp against other small clubs, or else we'd swim in the dam and look for Kwong Dongs, depending on what time of the year it was. We had great times together. Later in my first year at Cabana, I got my first set of wheels, so that meant Phil and I could go a little further afield. And a few times we joined in the Methodist Youth Group at West Wylong and checked out the local talent. <laughs> and Mount Hope. <laughs> Phil's first vehicle was a Ford Zephyr, new. So at last he had his independence. A bit later on, a new good-looking school teacher came to Gabatta School, called Enid Marks, and it didn't take Phil long to check her out. <laughs> and that's when it all started. Enid was a very good tennis player, I remember, and gave our tennis club a great boost. A bit later on, I got married, and then Phil and Enid got married a year later, in 1961. We both started a family about the same time and our kids started school at Gabatta the same year. Then Phil, Enid, Trevor and Donna moved to Gingelic into Enid's parents' farm. We kept in touch and had a few visits there to that lovely spot on the Murray River. Much later they sold the farm and moved to Naruma, where Phil and Donna got involved in the real estate business. This was a big change for them. 
And uh, I remember Phil telling me some time, uh, one time when Donna would get a bit disheartened in her dealings with people, Phil would say, well, at least you don't have to shear and crutch them. <laughs> 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 In recent years, Phil has suffered poor health, but has kept his good humour and positive outlook. He always enjoys a good story or joke, and any time I talk to him on the phone, he always says, Now, John, tell me, what's all the gossip around Lake Angelica? And Ian has done a wonderful job tending to his needs. Also, Don and Ben have been a great source of pride and they've been a great help to give Phil a positive outlook when things not going well. Thank you, Phil and Enid, for your friendship over the years. Especially, Phil, during my first year out in Australia as a migrant. Best wishes, all the best for your 50th anniversary.